Now, let me introduce the person who is going to be my, my sidekick here on the show. Her name is Karen Ann McDonald. Hi, Karen. Well, how are you doing today? Isn't it exciting? Oh, my gosh. Are, are you really like excited? I am so excited. Actually. Oh, my goodness. And we also have someone else with us. Go ahead. Andrew, raise your hand. Hey, uh, how you doing? This is Andrew Miller from Project Ascension. Well, there you go. See that? We got we got Andrew on there, and we have – there you go. You guys got your videos up. Yeah. So now I can see you both, too. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's all right. Andrew knows. I put on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on! This is this is Charleston, South Carolina. It's supposed to be I don't know, seventy, seventy something, seventy eight, seventy nine degrees or something. And right. instead of that, it's like eighty nine. Well, wow. it's crazy. And it just so happens that I, that I have a a where, where the studio is. The end of the the building that the studio is in is where the sun is. So it's like, hey, you can you can get a suntan over here. <laughs> Going to bring a little bit more up here. Yeah, okay, really. That, that autumn, autumn weather. It's been really, really kind of cool up here near Saskatoon. I tell you, these well, Cree nations and up by the University of Saskatchewan. It's just well, a little good. cooler today. What are, what are you having for dinner? I'll be there in fifteen. You know what? <laughs> Do you want to know? There it is. I showed you those raw cheese. Oh yeah, yeah, the yeah. Other day. Yeah, they turned out marvelous. I had <laughs> several of my girls here, um, and I was teaching actually how to do these raw food cheesecakes that take like. Six minutes. Really? Absolutely. Uh, you, yeah. Now you're making me yeah. hungry. Oh, well, yeah. You know, we drizzled all that rock cacao chocolate on, so that was actually something that we did. So, yeah, they were amazed at um, its cashew and water. a little bit of vanilla. We did some maple syrup and Himalayan salt and a little bit of coconut flour and dates, and we were done. Like Dang. six things, whip it up and... You know, it's freezer ready just to, you know, just to make you salivate for a few minutes. So. That is good stuff. Well, you know, it's amazing. And also, like, it was really fun because, um, of course, up in Saskatoon, we've got something called Saskatoon Berries. Oh, yeah, so, you were saying that the other day. Yeah, tell everybody what that is because I never uh, knew there was there was something that even sounded like that. <laughs> oh, my truth. gosh. Well, that's what Saskatoon is famous for, you know. Um, it's actually up in here, the um, what they call the Key Isis Saskatchewan. Actually, it's the energy of Isis. So the water's flowing. We've got all these... Ex- exquisite berries and they're deep in that indigo purple Ooh. gamma brain food crown chakra feeding their you know our souls up here so excellent stuff mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. excellent stuff you know i tell you something that that's health health food it really Abs- is it is you know and that's what i do when we're, we're doing healings and stuff we're getting people into the spring water getting them activated getting them that noble or ennobled type of water it's more like an h302 Really? So it is. Most people don't realize. They think water comes out of a tap, and it doesn't. It comes out of Mother Gaia. And it's chemistry totally different. So I think a lot of people have heard about monatomic minerals and, um, you know, that type of thing. We're getting in, you know, diatomaceous earth. But we're hearing about the minerals, the minerals, the minerals. Right. And really, we don't need to be mining because it's all in those ennobled minerals. So we call it monatomic or ormus. And that's what the spring water is just loaded in. It's like a tree. It brings up the water. It levitates up. So it creates enlightenment. Wow. And um, that's one of the cutest little secrets is getting spring water. I just want to, just want to tell everybody, right now there's all kinds of things going on in the chat box right now. I know uh, the my studio down in Australia, mm-hmm. uh, John, who's the director of that studio, who, who is, I mean, he's just amazing, totally amazing what he does right. that down there. And he's got all kinds of things right now coming on the chat box so that people can see something about the, the berries and everything else. Excellent. Well, so yeah, all you know, the just, information just is just there. Just don't hesitate to forward some of those questions because we want this as kind of a, a Q&A as well because we want to do healing and really involve people. And, you know, that's the first thing I do. In fact, I did already two skill indigo e-doctor basically biofeedbacks, which is scalar radionics, which is that machine that's sitting behind right, me right. here. And right now I, I'm remote viewing you, so you know it, it's kind of I'm looking at you, looking at you, looking at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, okay. Well, let's come on, everybody. You, you got to call. I mean, I know there's a bunch of people on on here right now listening to us. Absolutely. You have to dial eight four three three zero zero one three nine nine. Now, come on, man, have the guts. I know, I know, everybody's <laughs> sitting there going, I don't know if I should call. 
You know, they, they turn around and they ask somebody so that they can lie to them and say, ah, you don't have to call now. They don't. Yes, you do. you got to call now. Yeah, you I don't want to hear this baloney. You know, this is the 9000 you know, version or the $30,000 software version of really, you know, <laughs> the pendulum or basically muscle test in kinesiology. All right, you see, my, Tesla, you see mine? This is Tesla tech. <laughs> you see mine? <laughs> We go from the well, this is we go wolf. from high tech to low tech out here. <laughs> this is this is this is wolf. I and see that, that I see that medicine a wolf a, a wolf mother Indian yeah. wolf mother and that out in the west sent this to me. This has mm-hmm. real wolf hair in it. Wow! And yeah, I have to I wear actually, this. This I, gives me the power of the wolf. Well, you want to know what? I'll, I'll share a little secret. I, I I have to like I go I got to find out a little bit more about you know Bob here and. And you know Pyramid One Radio and all this, so and and your listener. So I went back and actually on your on your YouTube, and I was listening to actually the woman shamanically that you did with the Healing Wolf, right? Actually, about a year ago. Yep. And I listened to it for about forty five minutes, and I was really impressed because that's really the message is about healing ourselves, which is healing our waters. Right. And it starts with the inside before we can move to the outside. It, it healing our our flesh or our organs or whatever we want to call that's like healing the planet that's our organs our planet that's our mother the gaia some people think mother earth but gaia and it all starts from the inside out so that's really why the message is we got to get alkalized we got to get back to tribal slash natural law and i mean oh you are so correct you know how can you you know we talk about chakras but they're all in every different Mm -hmm. sacred site yep you know so if I'm dealing with Stonehenge, it's like dealing with someone in my heart chakra today. So I've been must be healing a lot of things in the heart because I've sure been doing a lot of people in London this week. Wow. <laughs> you, know? wow. you know, or every time we get in there and we can do distant things like remote viewing as people think or distance Reiki or I love teaching actually with um, Dr. Richard Bartlett. I don't know if you've ever heard of Matrix Energetics, but mm-hmm. I, I've my, heard of it. I've heard of it before. Yes. Oh, amazing man. He did two books called Matrix Energetics, um, and the other one's called The The Physics of Miracles. And the MI or the miracle means peace in Russian, actually. Mm-hmm. I think my Baba, you know, Daiboja. Um, you know, that's what we learn, and it's about coming back, learning who we are, our roots. Um, pivotal series. I don't know if your listeners have heard to something called, but it's called Anastasia. The Ooh, ringing yeah. cedars of Russia. Yes, 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 yes. That it's is that a, is in it. That is in a book too that was written by uh, one of the the host net that I had on here. It was really? called uh, White Pearl, and she had talked about it in a book. Yeah, this is an amazing one. It's the rights of love, but the new civilization and Anastasia. I was invited to be at the Dolmens actually wow. in Russia, and this is actually the set of groups or tribes or off the grid, call it whatever we'd like. Excellent. That were never colonized, i.e., conquered by the Roman Empire, i.e., they still have their autonomy, their no self empowered. Oh, wow. And um, Vladimir Meager did that. So I've been in touch with him. So a lot of people think this is mm-hmm. like, you know, a fantasy thing, but it actually isn't. And, you know, when you learn about who you are, you know, it's like having inheritance law. You know, everyone wants to come off the grid and, you know, get rid of the birth certificate and the driver's license and, you know, become self-empowered again, but it really is an inheritance law, and it, it's blood lineage um, hereditaries, you know, and it's very much like the druids and stuff. We've got to come back to knowing our ancestral um, customs, ways, usages, and laws, and that's really what natural law is, you know, coming back into balance with nature. So I'm so excited that, you know, we're here today. We and, had, you, you know, know, before before you came on, there was yeah. there was some Skypes that that had coming through and that from people that wanted to be invited, of course, oh, wow. to Skype. And there was also a couple of phone calls that they came through before, but they were half an hour early, uh huh, for some yeah. reason. But that was okay, you know. I told them I said call back, you know, no right. big deal, right? Yeah, and um, you know, it's amazing because there's so much going on at the planet. And I know if people haven't been to see Project Incension, I you know I just absolutely you know Andrew's like my brother here and. And former Sergeant Mick Mac, Patty Broussard. Good. You know, we all basically live together on Skype. We're in each other's living rooms and kitchens, and we're, you know, making food together hey, and, man. Yeah. and helping. It's the vibe of the tribe, you know. And this is a very small, international, but little cute 
microcosm of the macrocosm here. So once we do that, people make such a great shift. But I really encourage people to go to um, Project Consumption because we've spent, you know, 30-some videos there. And um, we've got pivotal things. We get to see things a lot of people don't. And if they really want to see what's going on in the planet here from a global perspective or off the planet in that secret space and program sort of things in the whole Star Wars, Patty Broussard's got access to that. So Patty will open up, as she says, boring <laughs> the cameras. Up no, there. come on. <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and so if people want to do that, I'm sure it's going to give them just a rush. It's very eye opening. So I have a lot of healing stuff there for people about, I mean, everything from going from your cupboards to how to do, I'm a colon hydrotherapist, you know. Um, I remember when uh, Rob Nicholson came to me about 2006, and he said, you realize you're the clan mother with the tartan and two swords. <laughs> and I thought it was very funny at the time. And then it got funnier as these years have progressed, finding out that it's actually true. And when you go back into natural law, the clan mother and tribal women have way more authority and supersede everything in the de facto maritime and admiralty courts. So the international Hague courts is where I actually kind of deal with. And um, See that, so Andrew? We, when when the Indians the Indians take over now, we lose. Right, right. <laughs> that's, that's it. Boom. Mom, mom's, on, got, yeah, mom's got the helm. Get out of the way. We're on our own time. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's circle the wagons quick. <laughs> You know, and that's what we laugh about coming back to that sacred loop and stuff like that. But it's true. That, you know, it is true. We can, it is. It, it absolutely is. And even, you know, for people that don't know who they are, I have a lot of clients going, I don't know who I am. I said, that's not great when the government knows more about you than you do. So <laughs> let's just take a step back because we want you to know as much as we do, you know. And um, we get them doing their what's called mitochondrial. It's like having a maternity test, you know. So we go back and we check your mother of your mother, your mother. So there was only seven basic um, lines that mm -hmm. were dropped off. Right, right. And mine's actually with the white bear, star nations. And this goes way back to well, what they call it, Ursula, let Arturian. Me, let me understand this correctly. Now, you're 13th mm -hmm. in a long line yes. of bear mothers. That's correct. And it goes right back to the beginning of time. I'm saying that goes, that goes, that's got to be. That's the original. Uh, yeah. You're, you're, yeah. you're, you're way back. Yeah. And so, you know, part of that is when we talk about DNA activation or, you know, we all want to repair that, you know, triple strand or activate our, our strands of DNA. Um, that's how we do it. So we still carry kind of like a supercomputer. You know, they talk about the 13 crystal skulls or the exactly. 13 original clan mothers. I am actually that. And so um, we still carry that kind of fun stuff, you know, and I like to do healing. I grew up here. I grew up as a healer, you know, as a nurse initially mm -hmm. and then became like an aromatherapist. And I probably have 30, 40 modalities like colon hydrotherapy to Reiki master to all sorts of things. And now playing behind me with the radionic machine. So, you know, scalar <laughs> weapon technology, direct energy healing weapons instead but, um, well, yeah, by know. the way, to anybody, everybody listening right now, and that uh, uh. Karen actually did me the other day, and I'm a wreck. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm only, only kidding. I, I'm like, I, you know, it's like, like driving at a tree and asking the tree to move. Well, you know, <laughs> which I guess that's an interesting thing. So people have a hard time conceptualizing. We're on radio in the radio waves. Right. You know, we, we're on Skype. We're talking. Right. We're seeing each other. So. We're not in each other's space, but we are. There's no time, no distance, no space mm -hmm. between us. Nope, nope. And when we look at this, that's the same thing how the skill biofeedback operates. If so I actually can be a portable, you know, nurse or doctor at Star Trek. I'm looking at you from above, so to speak. If, yeah. If your if your listeners are want to see how it's actually done, they can go to my show, Project Ascension, and watch a three hour video where Karen does it, the whole thing on me. So. Why don't you uh, get on the chat box and put the address right into the chat box? That's yeah, connected to that's connected to anywhere in the whole world. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, that's an amazing thing. Like you know, right now we're we're playing behind. So if I want to do another healing for people, you know, we can do very short healings, like you know, half an hour for people. And but most people, you know, it's like doing psychic readings or angel or angelic readings and stuff too. 
we're also teaching people, this is what we call, some people think it's psychic defense or Captain Randy Kramer would call it, we call it psionic defense. Mm. <laughs> you know? But how do we protect ourselves? We've got wireless coming in. We've got chemical trails and pollution coming in. Um, people are bombarded. You know, they're taking unclean water. Even that alone, you know, to learn that you've got H3O2, which is basically like an easy water and it's mineral rich. And that's what we actually absorb. So if I get one message out, I want everyone out there getting that and getting that pink Himalayan salt and putting that in that water or getting some water, at least get some Himalayan salt water and getting some baking soda lemon juice every day. That's what and, I do. Oh, absolutely. That's the one but, I do. And uh, I, know, I I just talked to the person who wrote the the book about the miracle of baking soda. Yeah. And uh, that was Dr. Circus. And he's in mm -hmm. Brazil right now. And he was on, it was his birthday today. And that's why I sent him a little note net saying happy birthday. He's been on the show and had a bunch of times. Well, you know, the simplest thing, if we, we break down also what baking soda is, it's an NaHCO3. But again, H in there being like H2O, it's the hydrogen. Exactly. It's what's giving you the generation, the power. And so simply pH, if you think of it from, you know, zero to 14, but neutral is seven. We were not supposed to be neutral. It's like sitting on the fence of our life. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, you know, baking soda, if you have a heart attack, what do you think mm -hmm. you put in your heart? Well, you know what? Right? Enough, I mean, it, yeah. oxygen, it's instant, bam, oxygen. Yeah, absolutely. And what people need to realize, and, you know, by the way, thank you for being here, your kindness. And, you know, as people are starting to understand, you know, we, we know mm -hmm. what the belief we're doing. Yep. But having been, and I am, I'm still nursing after 30 years. I just do it with different things. So yeah, sticking you don't the grow IV, out of that. Are you kidding me? As you said. Yeah. You know, sodium bicarb is baking soda. We exactly. use the enema bags here. Okay. And that is the easiest, simplest way to access to the heavens, if you want to say. So is above, so below. So, um, you know, rather than sticking tubes in, the quickest way to get actually high or enlightened and to get rid of washing anything out, doesn't matter if you've got cancer, to viruses, to bacterial infections, to gout, to diabetes, it doesn't matter what it is, depression. Doing salt water and baking soda enemas, or at least apple cider vinegar, just two, three cups, and you slowly drip it in after five minutes into your bum. It's like a bum wash, actually. You will wash out physical, mental, and emotional. Um, it's, a colon, colon, people, it's a colon car wash. It <laughs> is. Yeah. It's like the inner detailing, and you better be very specific. But Yeah, exactly. I use, I use a lot of aromatherapy in here, and so... Um, I was trained actually with Dr. Gary Young. And so I was learning how, to, you know, and Justin and all these guys and Dr. Ravi. So I'm also a master blender and aromatherapist as well. You know, I was going to ask you about that with the essential oils. Right. And that, now, I use a couple. One of, one of them is mint. Do you? And that real melt mint, the real yeah. organic oil. Yeah. And I use it on the back of my, back of my neck. Sometimes, Absolutely. you know, you get that little crick in, that in your neck and stuff. Poof, yeah. it's gone. One, two, well, three. You know what most people do is they miss the idea. Like, I mean, here, for example, is a bottle of frankincense. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. If we go back to the original things, you know, um, frankincense, myrrh, orange trees, mm -hmm. uh, spruce, fir trees, pine trees, it's the trees kind of like cannabis, or as people think, you know, medicinal marijuana. They want the turpins. These carry warmest type sesquiterpenes. Mm -hmm. So this actually brings concentrated ormus minerals, vitamins, and all sorts of things into the system. But it's got to be the real oil. It's got to be what I call therapeutic grade. It's kind of like virgins. Right. I think men get the idea about a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> it never been touched until now. <laughs> exactly. No man has touched it. <laughs> That's right. the way we stay. So what happens is that that's a virgin or raw essential therapeutic level. And so it's been slowly steam distilled, i.e. it's still raw. It's like a raw vegan. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're talking about. You know, like uh, forks over knives or um, going raw in 30 days. The most concentrated food you can possibly take is going into aromatherapy. And so, yeah, you're right. I don't want – organic's almost a dirty word in my, my 
planet, but um, well, wait a minute, o- organic. See, it's a good thing you said that because I, yeah. I had, I went nuts on somebody <laughs> just, just this morning, right? Because uh, you know we go out, we go out to the, the organic show, you know, shops yeah. and stuff, and we we get our food there. And, yeah. you know, the funniest thing was that they said, well, you've got an organic here and conventional there. I said, do you realize I said that, that God, only 30 years ago, <laughs> organic wasn't a word. Yeah. Right. yeah. It was not a word because everything you ate was organic. Well, you know. Does that mean that everything else is messed up? You got well, messed you know, up and you got organic. Well, I, you know, this I, is I, wait a minute. One more. One more notch. One more. One more. What? Everything, everything today. All right, now let's let's just you know be cool. I mean, everybody out there that's listening to this and that, you know, put your put your. Uh, I don't care if it's an aluminum hat. You know, it's good <laughs> with me. But just think of this: this stuff that we're eating. First of mm-hmm. all, you cannot identify it. Anybody can lie and put anything on a, on a sign, and you'll mm-hmm. believe. Oh, it says it's organic. Okay, yeah, big deal. It comes from some some country that I can't pronounce the word. So, okay, so that's organic. So, good for that. To actually identify, and it was in the promo, it mm-hmm. was on before, there is a way to identify GMO food. But mm-hmm. you have to scan. You have to use the scanner in your smartphone to get the code from the scan, from the little uh, scan thing in the back, right. to be able to know whether it's GMO or not. Because the government won't pass the, ba- the, the bill to label GM- GMO foods. Which mm-hmm. I think is the biggest cheat humanity ever had, ever. Because first of all, we this thing that they're calling GMO, they they don't mm-hmm. they don't get it. Everybody says, "Oh, it's GMO, GMO." Do you know what that word means? That's genetically modified organisms. That mm-hmm. means that it's been genetically reorganized into right. something that can reorganize us. Right. Exactly. It can, it, it can come, DNA. exactly. It can come back. Well, I don't know about changing it, but, but it can kind of sort of bend it a little bit. It can, it can start making your, your, your DNA or your chromosomes not working the way they're supposed to. It turns off right. things actually in the brain. Right. This is what this stuff does. The stuff that's in it is the enzymes that are used when they do splice these seeds, which right. is the same thing that's in Roundup, which is a poison. Right. They tell you that it's perfectly, perfectly safe to eat the foods, even though that's in there, blah, 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 it's not going to kill you. Well, good. Go out. I want any of these guys with the big mouths and that to put down a glass of Roundup on their table and say, drink it. Right. I want to see them drink it. It's not going <laughs> to hurt me. It's not going to hurt you either, right? Oh, my gosh. You know, that's like the best analogy ever because, you know, I'm actually right here. This is the heart of basically it was where the medicine wheel is so i'm sitting on the second mm-hmm. largest medicine wheel on the planet by the way on this continent and that's one escape one but having said that because it was the most healing center where did everyone come to infiltrate and, and colonize so it was actually up here so this is where if you can imagine all the stuff with percy smicer and stuff this is where the monsanto and roundup experiments are at the university of saskatchewan huh. it's just a huge just illuminati new world order mess up place there is these days smart meters and when you talked about tinfoil hat don't don't laugh i have tinfoil and i have the <laughs> smart serious. meter cage it's, uh, we do i wouldn't and right get- behind here just as you know i've got one too that's your amethyst biomat uh-huh did i get it biomat canada so every one of my rooms i have that all the center i have that i, I have that do. matt here that's i got what- it from dr circus I wanted to let you know that's what I've been sleeping on for just about a decade. Oh wow! Okay. Oh wow! And so I have the large one and I have the small one. So all my clients, we have reversed di- diabetes, cancers. I've had people paralyzed get up and walk on me in here. And there is there is real there's, center, yeah. there's real crystal in that. Ab- absolutely. Real crystals, and when they emit heat, it is yes. so good. It's very GSA with the little controller, but it doesn't oh, have yeah. to because there's some people in there, but. If you know the whole thing about, um, you know, Budweig and Brzezinski's and the whole garrison thing, part of it is usually hypothermia. I mean, in conventional things, that's why we still have sweat lodges, you know. We have teepees and sweat lodges. I have them too. <laughs> oh, my and God. I do. I've got my own teepee downstairs as well. So, Whoops. Um, when we've got Well, now you need a pyramid in the backyard and you'll be fine. 
Oh, I tell you. I have one of those. <laughs> you have one of those too. I was also going to say that anybody that that wants to that wants to try out or wants to wants to go and look at more about that mat that we're talking about, you just go to yeah. www.pyramid1network.com. Look down there, scroll down there a little bit, and you'll see it. It's on it's on the main website. You can click right on the picture and go right to the website and read all about it. Well, you know, I, I they brought me in up here into Victoria. They would fly me in because they wanted to know how I was getting such dramatic results at my Heavenly Health Quantum mm-hmm. Healing Center and Colonics here. And now I'm portable. I mean, I can do go there anywhere. I've got the biofeedback that goes anywhere. The mats go anywhere with me. And, of course, the oils do too. But it's really about, you know, what's inside. We're just holding the space. But that's what David Wolf would call an earthing or grounding mat. You've got 20, 17 different layers in there. You've got ceramics. Oh, we yeah. have sacred geometry. Right. We've got copper. It's got an IC chip in it. And we can go from very low, like 100 and some de- you know, degrees Fahrenheit, right up. And so what we're doing is we're actually exciting the cells because we have a second field in there called a negative ionic field. Mm-hmm. And so if you want to go in, that's my Zen zone. I don't exist on this planet. I'm here but not here when I'm on that bed. <laughs> Okie dokie. And- Oh my gosh! I have yeah, I, I have something coming up from from Australia, which is something that great. that I've been getting all kinds of emails in it about because I opened my big mouth a couple of weeks ago <laughs> on the show, and it was uh-huh. like, Rrr! and I mean, yeah. I have it here, and I think I discussed it with you too. All right. these people with this Wi-Fi pollution. Yeah. Now this is this is not going to be a one one show deal. I mean, we just can't do it. And I have other people who I'd like to bring on the show also mm-hmm. uh, that that have actually in Canada been right. to the government in Canada about meters. So right. these these people are they're all sitting on the on the side just you know waiting to come into the show and it and I'm telling you we can blow a lot of things right out of the water. But one of the things that that I'm asking everybody is mm-hmm. if anybody sees or places where to get the mesh cages that go over smart meters. There are some ridiculous, I mean, the most ridiculous prices I've ever seen. Some of them are $139 and other oh. ones are nineteen ninety five. dollars you know, Which one I is had real? I girl do this up at Attackacoop. So I've been spending a lot of the times um, north of Saskatoon. You know, this is what's known as the crease. So we're right above all that stuff happening in the Dakotas with the, the pipeline here because we're having the same issues here. You know, they're, they're fluoridating the water here. They've gone into Wanna State oh. when, and now they're trying to cover sacred burial sites. They just. Why do they do that there? Because there is probably one of, one of the most or, or better, better in, in words, purest spots, mm-hmm. you know, uh, on the map. It is, it, you know, and, but of course, this is what's happened. People don't realize it's like when I had my thing in Silverton or Cypress Hills. You know, kind of like where they took all the women when there was going to be a war, martial law. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I've got that all flagged. That's actually mine by international hereditary law. And so what happens is that a lot of people don't realize that's the origins. It's glacier fed. And the problem being is that we've got a lot of deep underground military bases here. We've got nuclear facilities all over the place here. Mm-hmm. And this is what's going in. We've also got a mini CERN here, you know, which is creating things, not the oh, same thing as the Mandela effect, but... The LHC is one of the largest backup centers for like Brookhaven, the Kieran right, Rians, right. and CERN. And so virtually every city has this. And I challenge everyone and your viewers and the listeners is to go in and check and see what they have in the area because these are super stacked underneath the city. And right. so a lot of people aren't aware of it, that this is like literally miles underneath their feet. If you can get an upground thing, that's, that's very rare. So why don't they just give you free electric? Oh my gosh! Can you imagine? Can you? Power. Yeah, but can you imagine the the radiation, the 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 oh. energy radiation that comes off of that? You could you power know, a whole city. Well, this is you know what the, it's kind of interesting because I've been as I've been with the tribes north here. You know, I had quite the weekend up there. You know, there is thirty people I've been in contact with, and all thirty have a story. Not one doesn't. So we've had UFOs. We've seen. We saw the Star Wars. Yeah, above well, my I was going to get to that right. Yeah, you know, we've got Sandy Bay Lake there, and what they've got is UFOs going in and out of the water. I got Sasquatch Yeti stories. Mm. I've got people that were coming to me to be doctored, <laughs> being telling me they're being abducted. McAdams, Ooh. who was one of the ones that ran the uh, Idol No More up here, and uh, her parents. And again, what are they doing? They've taken the most pristine, be at the lake resort type of thing, and then they've put fluoridated water. 
and the people in the administration don't care, and the reason being that they're not usually tribal. And people are RH positive or tribal. RH negative have been, as you said, genetically modified right. organisms. Mm -hmm. Not that some can't possibly be fixed, but at this point, tribal people or Indians means lost in Dias. So we're like a virgin, okay? An Indian means those people that are pure. It has nothing to do with the color of the skin. Mm -hmm. So I could be sitting with someone bear clan that's red, black, yellow, pink at the same table, and we're all from the genetic original gene pool. And people need to realize that, that they've got to be really, in essence, colorblind. This is about bloodlines, and that's where the chakras and the ley lines and the rivers. And there's a huge thing called the 19 plus 1, and the Grand Teton is the center. And you, if you go around the circle, every one of those things, that's what just happened there at the Okanagan Lake when they were saying, you know, I was talking to Dave Scott at uh, Spaced Out Radio the other night. That's where you get things like Ogopogo happening. That's where we get Loch Ness happening. Up here at Atakaku, I mean, they've put things that are disguised as Anglican crucifixes, which are really, we know, is a Gwen Harp Tower. Oh. And these are direct energy weapons, scalarized at these people 24-7, all with smart meters there. So first of all, they had no water. The health director didn't give a, a damn. I went to go speak with them. The Henneke is running almost all these reserves up here are basically the mafia. <laughs> and they are acidic as whatever. Right. And they're running virtually everything up here, including, I mean, Indians don't vote. No tribal Indian that knows natural law is voting or participating in a de facto fiat-based voting democracy. It right. doesn't happen. All of us, everyone, go back to – I don't care who's on the planet – comes back from the original tribe. And every one of those mothers were the heads of the nations. And that's what the clan mothers are incumbent to be. And that they appointed their dragons or their chiefs, per se. And people need to go back and look at this. There's some, and it's not up for the Academy Award, but it's Meredith Quinn, Tribal Laws on YouTube. Hmm. And there's another one called Meredith Quinn Universal Writings, kind of like Universal Law. But those couple places have got the beginnings of it. We also had Winston Shroud up here, and what they did is there was a little part where they had a few people from the Okanagans um, up there, and we don't use the term elders, you know. That's an Anunnaki Illuminati term, by the way, you know. So if we go back to original Druze or original Anglo or Angel customs, we use different terminology. And so we want to get people back to doing that, and that's what's coming back to natural law. That's why I don't put anything in that's going to GMO me, you know. I don't allow people in here, you know, smoking, drinking, um, Lysol, Tide, you oh. know, and we use aromatherapy because those foods are the purest food, mm -hmm. you know, that you can get. And having said that, like a virgin, the first classification is heirloom seeds, not oh, organics. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. And so organics we get them here. made out some pesticides and yeah. fungicides. So let's be clear that we're talking about original virgin hereditary or heirloom or they call pedigree and that's like women instead of being you should have a pure and again it's like men too seeds the seeds the semen everything and we have to look at what's going on now too because we've had so much people you know having sex or intercoursing for money <laughs> well whatever <laughs> you know but that, but again, you know what that's what's being transferred so like a let me, let me add some. Let me, yeah, let me yeah. add something to that though, because all of these yeah. things in there too. I mean, I'm kind of sort of regressing a little, but the yeah. things that we're eating, all right, are taking right. Our, our sperm for a ride. Exactly. People don't get it. I mean, I don't. What? What? What made me so smart? I mean, then again, I, I listen to a hundred people, you know, in <laughs> x amount of months, you know, of the, that are there are PhDs and uh, university people and and researchers, mm -hmm. etc. But. You know, it's like connecting the dots, because if you hear all those stories, they're all different stories. But if you can connect the dots, which I mean, I do because I mean, it's on. We, I got them on. I talk to these people. They're they're on tape. I have to know more of them, the more about them than they know about me when they're on, so that I can talk to them. That's how high up on the on the food line they are. But we are the 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 persons who are eating 
things now. It's going mm-hmm. to your body, which winds up in your sperm anyway. Your sperm winds up somewhere else, and after that comes, comes a human being on two legs. That one has stage one of the downhill ride from there. And it just goes on and on and on. Sooner or later, there will be no little two legs walking around. And and that's what we're looking at. And as a mother, it's really, really important because people don't realize. Actually, I would say the act of intercoursing, but anyway, is very assimilable as a nurse to a vaccine. And that's what people don't realize, that they're getting vaxxed, which is genetically modifying them as well. But that's the same almost assimilation as fracking. It's the mm-hmm. same thing that we're seeing. It's the same thing as chemtrails. We're having an injection or ejaculation of chemicals that are genetically altering even the women. And now it's being targeted, especially at the children, the next generation. Right, exactly. You know, and that's what you're getting is the genocide, you know, of the different people. So it's really targeting our children. But, I mean, it comes down to the parents and especially the mothers not doing the investigation. And your analogy was was right on because I tell you, it's the same thing when I teach this, you know, when I'm out in doing uh, guest speaking and, and appearances and the different health shows and stuff or one-to-one. But here's a glass of water. If I put pus in it, formaldehyde, I put some antifreeze in it, um, I put some cow pus in there, and I got some dead chickens in, killed a few ch- children, got went down to the abortion clinic, stuck them in here. Not anyone in their right, you know, mind would ever think about drinking this. And yet, because it's been sanctified to go in by Health Canada or the FDA or CDC under the auspices of the United Nations, which is actually designed for genocide for Agenda 21, is also targeting your 21st chromosome. Gee, you Most know that too? Most people don't realize that. I, as I just said, you know that too? Mm-hmm. I thought I thought it was just a few. <laughs> but I'm ser- yeah, Andrew, you laugh. I mean, I'm serious. I mean, I you know, I hear people that every once in a while you'll hear somebody come out with the correct answer. You That's know, it's right. like these guys are not for us. They are against us, and we don't even right. know it. I have said ever since, well, I come from the New York area, and I worked in in Manhattan. So, I mean, I, I used to go back and forth, I mean, past the U.N. every once in a while. Mm. And, you know, I used to say all the time, the people in that, that are going in and out of that place, they're, they're murderers. Right. And I don't mean that in a way that that is, you know, more or less to harm anybody's feelings in any mm-hmm. way than what have you done? Here's a building in New York that cost a lot of money. And mm-hmm. I mean, I saw the, the budget on that place. And, you know, people who go out and, you know, all over New York and they park anywhere they want to. They're diplomats. And, they, you know, you get all kinds of crazy things in that in New York City. Mm-hmm. But after after the fact... What have they done? This is this is what I want to know. They've got all these people in UN units all over the place now to help people and you know help disasters and everything else. But like, what else have they done? It's okay. You're okay on the POS, the point of sale or whatever. Whatever happens when it happens, you're there. Okay, in another country or whatever. Fine. I I can I can. Boom, boom. I'm the first one to say okay, great, nice thing. But how about the rest? How about teams of people that to go in and teach Africans how to how to uh, plant and farm their land? Right. How about that? I mean, there is more land over there that is actually, according to a research that person that I talked to over there, it is so fertile, it's absolutely ridiculous. If you did put something in it and correctly farm the land, you'd have, well, forget about it. They'd have more food in just one little, one of their little counties that would feed... I guess six or seven or eight hundred miles around them. Well, you know, having said that, but I mean, here's the advantage of having some of the information we have with Patty Broussard. So I have the ability to go into NOAA and go into the International Space Station. So when you look at something called the Grace Gravity Maps, and we can look at sailing and we can look at a lot of things, is that area is just about bone dry. And when you see it from above, there's virtually no green left in the, in there. And we've lost the ozone in a lot of the areas heavier than some. So this is why we need to look at what Patty's looked at developing based on the Mars projects and, the you know, what you call the, you know, U.S. Army and, and NASA engineers. But 
we're in a radiation meltdown right now. And it's not just Fukushima. It's accumulative because of the breakdowns. We had actually up to 53 billion counts per minute and stuff go off when we had the CERN meltdown. Mm -hmm. And what they were doing with their little satanic rituals when they're, you know, doing their things to the Godard trails and stuff, <laughs> tunnels. But having said that, I mean, there, there's even a news media blackout on the amount of people that they killed in Geneva. You know, I mean, we've got United Nations, you know, deployed portable morgue units taking thousands and thousands of people in that no one's talking about on the open air. And, you know, these people have been beyond genetically modified. I mean, and they're beyond being harvested for their souls for the louche, you know. And so people need to know what's really kind of going on here. Having said that, we need to get prepared because a lot of the places we need to have enclosed, if you want to say like an eco village, you know, like a Bucky geodesic dome, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. somewhat above and somewhat below based on our free magnetic machines, also possibly using what we can with the, the hydro, uh, the water, the solar and the wind. But you've got to have and know the knowledge now that we've got no ozone, no UV, A, B or C. So you would have to have bulletproof, armor proof. Now, radiation and radioactive proof, specialized glasses, even just so that people are going to survive, let alone thrive. Mm. And so filtering out these different spectrums, because we've got temporary shields holding this planet together. And I know, Andrew, I was so excited. I can't believe I was making cheesecake and <laughs> you guys didn't call me. But I'm like, oh, my gosh, we got visitors up at the International Space Station. This right. is beginning to be commonplace. So they if people want to go... Shut it down and then thought we were gone and brought it back up. We still got them. <laughs> yeah. We, so, we literally, in yeah. other words, somebody knocked on the door and said, uh, we're home. Yeah. You exactly. know, we're, we're at the mother's land. She's coming in for a landing. Um, but, yeah, you know, this is the type of thing people don't normally have access to that we open up to the public and the private. And every other sector there is. I don't even recognize them anymore. But, you know, this is about open, like, free share like Ubuntu. And I mean, this is where people are going to have to come back to. I haven't used banking or commerce for like ages. And it's very possible to live without any cash once we start learning some of this. And we start learning to go into what we call barter. Mm -hmm. And so that's part of our original customs usage as a law is before there were de facto banks and everything that they set up here and no Bitcoin and fracking. So in truth, that's how we're able to speak freely. And that we're going to be able to gift and share things benevolently for everyone. And, you know, thank you for your kindness and understanding. This is what people have to come to the realization if they're going to do it. And because, you know, people have been dumbed down, like you said, you know, between all these genetically modified organisms and Morgellons and whatever else is up there raping us these days, we can get something called Salmac. And Salmac is a specialized volcanic sublimase, which is basically like a volcanic mineral mm -hmm. that we can get in and it tastes one kind of like a, a licorice um, form that we have, but we also have another one that comes in called Turex flasca and salta pastile. And this Turex flasca is delicious. Kind of a root beer and that one's kind of a licorice, but that mineral that you haven't had in your system is a DNA activator for the triple spiral. So there are a few of us that are star seeds that still have, you know, our, our DNA. But a lot of people are, are almost like have the two because they've been, like you said, genetically modified through right. vaccines, you know, um, fluoridated water, chlorinated water. Um, they can't read a label. They don't go out and forge like we do and get shaga mushrooms or something. And they can't read a label in the store. So they can't even stay in the organic section, which starts with the number nine on the sticker. So if you have any take. I challenge anyone, go into your fridge, look if there's a sticker there, if it starts with a three, a four, a five, a six, a seven, or an eight, you are up for the either anthrax, AIDS, DEET, whatever they want in there. You've been vaccinated. You've right. been hoaxed. And so you need to look at what's in your fridge to start with. And that's where it starts with. It's not out there pointing fingers. It's what are we doing? We also have yeah. on the on the chat box, by the way, right now, you were talking about CERN. Absolutely. Right? It says, uh, the last words of Dr. Edward Mantill, mm -hmm. a physicist, physicist at physicist. CERN. Uh, mm -hmm. Last words of him, and there's a link here for our YouTube. Right. 
play out. Mm-hmm. So it's already it's already posted on the uh, on the chat box. Yeah, I'm going to encourage people to really go to Project Insumption because this is where myself, um, Andrew was part of that team, obviously as a producer um, for YouTube and stuff too. But Sergeant Daniel Brad McBullen the third, um, who has since been, I think, eradicated. Um, we'll just say or cloned or something. Um, <laughs> and Sergeant Patty Bassard and myself. We were actually Dan, Patty, and I were the only three witnesses other than the one guy that was in the CERN actually control room, which we were watching him when the meltdown occurred. Wow. So since basically and that was the same because everyone was away at the Paris incident. Uh, yeah. You know, that was the same weekend in uh-huh. November of uh thirteenth and fourteenth. Um so I'm really well versed at discerning and so Patty can open up and we literally can go in and if you want to say borrow a hack or whatever, go right into the security cameras. And so we can watch it from the inside out and the outside in through webcam technology and through the satellite. So we can see where they're maneuvering things, where they're maneuvering even, you know, like NATO's in there or where they're setting up their uh, FEMA camps, things like that. Um, well, so you're, we're saying, on it. you're saying something happened. If you ask them, nothing happened. Right. Well, we, I, no, I mean, Andrew, am I right? Have- I mean, they deny everything. Right. No, no matter what they're going to, you know, they're always going to deny, deny, deny. Right. No yeah. matter what. So we got to set it straight and show them and put it in the face and show you, hey, this is what happened. We know you can't hide from us anymore. Well, and, and the bottom line is there was only four of us actually that night watching things. So, right. I mean, no one, including him, has any right to make any kind of a, a, a testimony slash whatever. I can bear oath because I was on with Patty. Patty was up basically almost for three, four days straight. Dan was up and I was in and out all weekend watching on live footage. So no one is a witness. And outside the three of us, no one can even question that. And that's why we actually gave testimony and stuff like that. We spent days actually talking to Alfred Laminar webinar, who is the international tribunal judge for crimes against humanity. Okay, so our stuff has already been put forward, and I'm the only one outside of a few people that had some footage, and I have live footage of what Patty was doing live time and in true time, which has been disseminated, and it's all over Facebook and has been since November. So you know what? No one has the right to question it because, one, even in a thing of law, that's what he's doing. He's talking about hearsay. He was not on site or watching live when we were, I'm, and I'm like I said, at, it only happened over a few minutes. You had to have been there to see the desecration within that 24 hours. I'm looking at uh, I'm looking at some things coming in on the chat box and it's about yeah. the whistleblower reveals yeah. CERN suffered major disaster on Friday the 13th. You bet we did, and there were a lot of people that were killed. It's no different than we've seen many different catastrophes happen that have gone unreported. FEMA and Homeland Security two months ago, if you actually put in Patty Elbersard, put Daniel Brad McBullen, Karen McDonald, or Karen actually, it's Lutzik McDonald, and then you put FEMA and Homeland Security, and then you start putting that in, you're going to see that based on what Dan, Patty, and Andrew, myself, the four of us basically put together and aired, that they created a emergency meeting because we now have a fracking, but we have a cracking ripping, fracturing, ripping a part of the continent in the third place, which they were not expecting, which is very close to where the Dakota pipeline is, Mm -hmm. you know, and that alone should be a cause for relocation and evacuation. And you got to remember the pipeline that's going out there that's destroying our waters and we will send every tribe, but I am getting everyone is tribal. Anyone RH positive should be sitting there protecting the waters. I'm up here in Saskatoon because they just hit the North Saskatchewan. We just had a dry chemical, probably sodium hex sulfide burn over Fort Mac at a known, we'll just say, alien government, shadow government, military slash base there. That's what the whole Fort Mac is about and fracking and destroying and relocating the tribes and genocide. This is a huge thing, you know, and when I've sent proclamations in, they've had a lot of weight. It moved 
Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth, into Denver. She's closer to you than she is to me, thank gosh. And at least we got her out of like, you know. <laughs> yeah, right. Do you think, yeah. do you think that, do you think that actually talk, I mean, and this is for you too, Andrew. Do you actually think that talking about something like this is going to get people to start thinking positively? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can see it more and more. Slowly, people are waking up finally. And they're just not, nobody wants to put up with this garbage anymore. It's just ridiculous to be ruled by 13 families, you know? Well, they, they know it's a lie, but they have to go to a mm -hmm. soccer game. Right, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm serious. I mean, look. I gotta go to I, a football game. I gotta I, go to a baseball I, game. Exactly. I gotta go out to the bar and watch a football game. I mean, I, you know, these are, these are things that, that I hear about that, that make my blood boil, you know? Right. Because when you start to talk, talk about something, the first thing they'll do is they'll put up their hands and say, ah, I heard about that. Right. You did? What'd you hear? Don't worry about it. I heard it on the radio. Well, don't worry about what? Yeah. I, I ask them questions. They don't. It goes in one ear and right out the other one. <laughs> but you know what? This is the same thing. And, I, and I'm just going to bring this to people's attention. So I'd kind of like to do a little bit of a group healing like we did. Actually, it was great. We did uh, two. Uh, we'll plug in for Chris Keeler there, too. He's so close in Winnipeg here, too. He's the man. He is he's, the man. He's, he's amazing. I had all the tools at my medical center that you know he did as well. So And I do that kind of remote healing. So I'd kind of like to do that. But having said that, you know, it's really important. We need to like clear space. So, you know, instead of spraying, I, I'd suggest people get a few aromatherapy oils and we're going to start actually cleansing or smudging per se. Um, you know, even the, the, and again, an Indian practicing indigenous laws, custom usages and hereditary is not a native, by the way. Really? That, that's an aboriginal. So originals like myself, you know, white tribes is not white race. And again, you've got people cloned. So the queen is not a white tribal woman, you know. No, she's she's actually a fugitive from our international tribal courts and laws right now. Really? And that's right. You're, yes. Yeah, we've got actually. Um, I put a warrant out for her arrest actually in Kamloops to Kamloops in the Shwetmak Nations where she is uh, allegedly killed ten children in the residential schools in 1964. So a clan mother outranks technically a queen or a princess or whatever. So they have no longer any titles since 2013, by the way. Actually, 2011 is when I first set it in, into Nelson, into the regional district in this Sinaiic territory. I don't use British Columbia, but that's where those papers were initially filed in, in 2011. And so technically since then, there's been no contract, nothing with the Dracos, Anunnaki, any of these alien races that are no longer welcome here. And so that is why you're seeing a lot of the extraterrestrial assistance and help coming in because we're going after their bases like in the South Pole and Sector 4 and we're going to go after them one yeah, by we just one heard, and the we just heard and, that. and everything. Yeah. And um, you know, there was a team of specialized people that were dealing with CERN and it wasn't until the, the Dracos and those guys went in and they put some vacuums on after that created the blow up and every one of those are, is a lethal thing right now. So I feel like, you know, and they've done stuff too at the university of Saskatchewan here too, because we're all sitting on nuclear time bombs. So I'd like people basically just to take a deep breath. I like to use sometimes, you know, whether it's frankincense, myrrh, uh, peace and calming off young living or something. And just basically just sit and relax for just a minute. We need to bring it down to that. It's at a very, um, digestible level. And I'd like them to just grab a glass of water or if you've got herb tea or shaga tea. You know, we got to remember that when we're taking stuff like coffee and pop, it's like, you know, it takes got, 12 my, cups of water to neutralize that crap. I got my cherry water. It's good, to, good for the body. Yeah, we got, we got spring water here too. I just want people just to actually, just for a minute, just to relax and just actually hold that water and if they just actually take their minds to actually what their feet feel like on the floor, it's a bit of a meditation. It's a bit of a stretch. But let's turn off our, our mind chatter for a minute. Let's bring it down to literally touching the earth here, touching Gaia. And we need to come back and remember that when you take your mind and just feel what it feels like to have your feet on that ground. If you've got socks, take them off. You know, I'm on bare wood floors here, but get to the earth, get to something grounding. 
You know, you don't have to have a $200 or, you know, a $2,000 grounding mat. Literally, you could you know, have a box of dirt and sand underneath your computer desk and it will do stuff. Start taking that diatomaceous earth or zeolite or bentolite. Get earth again. Just feel that. I just want us just to feel our, our feet here for a minute. And just as we connect into that spring water, what we're doing is we're going to grow imaginary roots out of our feet. And let's just connect to that spring water. That's what we're all going for. It's like avatar, that neural network. It's in the water. And that's what the trees do and the mushrooms do. That's why we go gather shaga mushrooms and stuff. And just bring that energy up. Just feel your ankles. And yes, I've got the $30,000 technology stuff to scan you from here, but let's scan ourselves. And let's just bring it up to our knees. And just feel like what your gluteus maximus or your butt feels like in the chair. And let's just move up into our digestive system, into the chakras. So I'm into fruitarianism these days, raw food, vegan. So I'm going to say, just imagine you've got this huge red strawberry. It's like a garnet in there. Mm. And just let's glow. It's like a strawberry light. We all know what a strawberry is. That's what feeds that part of us. And then into the oranges, like you've got a navel underneath your navel, navel orange. And the lemon into the solar plexus. That's why it's so cleansing. And into our heart, we'll go with limes today. We've got a lime green chest glowing out that love, that compassion. And now into our throats, we're going to go into that blueberries. I love blueberries and Saskatoon berries. And they're going, going into the crown and stuff into there, going into that indigo, the deep Saskatoon berries, the blackberries, the raw chocolate. And become that tree. Just become that, that tree. We have to think about that. And as we branch out, it's the water. That's what's common to us. We're bringing that up and through and cleansing. That alone for just five minutes is like a yoga pranayama breath of life. And sometimes it's the silence. And I'd like everyone just to rub their hands together. I like to do it if you got castor oil. I like to teach people that. But let's just rub our hands together. Just like we're going to, you know, got a stick in between. We're going to make that fire out of the camp. Oh, my gosh. You should see my camp. Well, we're going to be here a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Get it really warm. And I want you just to take those hands apart and just if you have to close your eyes and just bring them together like you've got a ball. And you'll start feeling the energy. You don't have to be a Reiki master to do this. No, you can feel it in the palm of your hand. You can feel it. Most yeah. can. If you can't, keep rubbing it. And then think of it like a, as a pink ball, a fireball, or energy ball, or a white ball. And you'll start feeling that magnetics. So when I go over and I scan someone or read them, or I'm doing iridology, or I do face readings, call it psychic readings, call it whatever we would like, that's the energy. And we all have that energy within. And to bring it up into our hands means you've got to be up into the fourth dimension of this heart chakra. That means your chromosomes or the soul or the water or your blood has got to be vibrating at that level of what's around us. And so that's why I'm teaching people tree food, tree essential oils. We get with lemon trees, orange trees, lime trees, chocolate trees, frankincense tree, and myrrh are trees. Spruce is the highest vibration. It's like 500 and some hertz. A rose is only 300. Your home that you're stuck in is at 60. Your diseases all lay in the 40s to 60s. Your even virgin food is only in the 20s or 30s. And then when we can't find a life signal on you, I say you flatlined as a nurse and I can't Oops. find anything on my e. <laughs> say, God e bless you. Yeah. <laughs> God bless you. You know, down here in South Carolina, in, in, especially in this area, and that mm -hmm. we have tons of pine trees. 
Oh, go for it. Tons. I mean, there is like, uh, they stand, I would say a good, I would be lying if I said less than or around 200 feet up. Oh, seriously? I would talk, I we're talking like big ones. Okay. And some idiots, idiots, should I say, yeah. from the uh, from the power company, and that wanted to cut some of them away from the wires, so they cut one side off the trees. Really? Oh, you know that's yeah. so sad. I mean, it's um, a forest. It's a forest. But if, as you ride down the down the highway now, you don't see the one side of the tree. It's flat. Boop. I have to show you this. This is actually something I've got here. It's called pine pole. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's okay. the stuff that makes me sneeze my brains out. Yeah, you know, it, it's amazing, <laughs> but. I go to the trees and you get the resins. They have the hard little nodules that we take right. off the actual yep. tree. You can grind it into pine pole. This is way better than, by the way, bee pollen and that kind of stuff. Really? Okay. Yeah. And so when we actually then distill it with the bark and everything else, and then we get it into your aromatherapy, which is your pine essential oil, which is great for the pine or pineal cone or your little brain in there. Mm. So these things that are high in sesquiterpenes, that's where I actually go for the pine essential oil. Or that's why a lot of people were doing actually turpentine, <laughs> you know, like MMS and stuff like that. A lot of people have been using turpentine, you know, you know hydrogen peroxide uh, protocols. Um, what is cancer really, right? Or what is diabetes? It's a, it's a diagnostic diagnostic it means that you don't know what you're doing like gnostic the gnostic gospels we don't go spelling anymore but um you try uh, <laughs> yeah. no. but anyway there's the mms original Qu that's what we call the miracle miracle means peace by the way in russian mir like ut re me fa so or do re mi mm, right. mir 528 so what we're doing you can tell I hung out with Lynn Horowitz for a while. <laughs> that was that was a fun time. That's why. Well, I don't know if I'd go that far. He wanted me to be the replica, but That's but you know, you you learn about the vaccine stuff, and we all have got to come back into again into that state of peace and not pointing the fingers out there. Is realizing it, it all starts here. I have more people spraying chem trails inside their place. Uh, I challenge them to go look if they got Lysol, Febreze, Tide. Don Johnsons and Johnsons, um, they're not wearing hemp clothing. Right, this is right, hemp right. clothing, by the way. Yeah, um, that sort of thing. It starts right in our place. Um, that bed, by the way, is all I'm surrounded by bamboo, so I sleep in bamboo or wood trees. I'm I tried. On wood I tried floor. to. I tried you know? to grow it. It wouldn't. <laughs> so no. I don't know why. I don't know. Uh, the, she's uh, a tree. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We and had. A, yeah, but uh, wait a minute. I've got. A, I've got a tree out here, a palm tree, that mm -hmm. I put my hands on. Sometimes yeah. and get a little little zap off the off the tree. For sure. If I keep doing that, the tree's gonna gonna want to go steady. Well, <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. I mean, it loves me. But it's a soulmate. We could talk about love and how we actually do that. It's the same thing when I'm looking at you know chakras right. or different people, right? The aura scan. I'm seeing if you're connected on all levels, or if you're flowing, or have a disease or not. So it's not just an aura scan. I can do nine thousand things and look at your blood too. But having said that, you are the tree. And that's the tree of life. So you should be able to go to that tree and hold it. And, and tree hugging is really great because you're you're getting the vibration. And if you can't feel that, it's magnetic. Well, you're getting Earth's energy yeah, through exactly. the tree. The tree is a yeah, conduit for the energy. Yeah. And and it's alive. Yeah. Does people don't, people don't get it. Trees, do trees talk. Do any live healings or anything? Or do they have any questions? Because, you know, I've got 30 years of medical. I mean... I do doctoring here all over the place. We don't do treatments, but we see what we can do. So I don't know if anyone wants to do stuff like what we do with Chris. You know, if they've got questions, if they've got we have ones, uh, relations. Just, we've got a whole bunch of stuff in it up here. Oh, just throw it at me. I, I'm just ready for this. Let's no, no, this is, this is an get on get on the chat box if, if you have it over there, so you can see what's on there. It's on the, all the things that would CERN. Okay. And everything we'll and UFOs. Now we are we are on overtime. Okay. Right now. But here's a question, though, that I do want to ask you because you've been showing me all the oils and everything. Mm -hmm. Now, some people, especially down here, they mm -hmm. use atomizers. Yep. Them little steam things. You know, they put a couple of <laughs> yeah. drips in there. I know. The, the yeah, stuff in there. Yeah. I mean, you know, from your background, are they good for you? I mean, that's our, what's this, uh, um, an aroma that's not the preferred therapy? Way for sure. Yeah, that's not the preferred way at all. In fact, 
Um, the best way is to have it in you. So we take it with either in water or I take it in maple syrup. Um, the third way is to actually put it into oh, these yeah, yeah. veggie capsules and put it internally. We can put it in suppositories. I can put it in tampons and retention overnight into the enema bags. Now, the atomizers, great question. A lot of people do that, and they put it in to things that are too hot or they like to burn them into tea candle things. <laughs> that becomes what we call a flashpoint but carcinogenic. So the atomizers, it should be a fine mist steam, not in water like a nebulizer. Um, right, right, right. I, you know, is, it's called Aromaforce, a Therapro, and so it's a cold mist. And so if you go look at a couple of the suppliers there um, – Online, you can get a lot, and that's really what we want to do is we want to get into internally. And a lot of people stick it in their bath and their salts, and I'm like, that's just a real waste. Put it on your feet and then go in there or put it on your skin and wait 10, 15 minutes and then take your shower because when I actually do raindrop technique, I sit here, we got them on the massage table, and we marinate everyone, and then I put hot, wet towels on your feet, hot, wet towels on your back, and we literally push it in so that on live blood cell or on my scanner here, I can see dark field. We're going to see a change in the blood in minutes. You could have had a dormant disease since childhood. You know, I don't know if it's blood sugars. I don't care what it is. It's women with thyroid or hormones or they've all been acidic. Almost everyone I test has got a pH of 6.5 or 6.7 because they've been acidic since they've been vaccinated on this planet. Oops. You know, and so they all think that they're taking, and this is the key, like you, until people have done the enemas and colonics or colon hydrotherapy and removed the old acidic plaque, which is almost invisible, almost like an invisible barnacle, like putting verithane or polyurethane on, you will still be acidic. So I have lots of people think they're doing greens and they're taking lemon and they're doing apple cider vinegar. And they're still acidic as hell because it's been stuck in to the villi or into the leaky gut and put in there like a gut grenade that's sitting there still off-gassing with the bugs, further putting exotoxins into the system. Hmm. So that is one of the key things. So aromatherapy, the best way to stick it is inside, you know, and we need to think of it as nothing more than basically super concentrated minerals, vitamins. And get past that you need a degree or I don't want to start this because I don't know where it goes. Well, if you can take one drop of lemon, that's like you taking 10 lemons. If you take one drop of peppermint, it's like 26 cups of peppermint tea. If people want, all my clients, even that, everything should be free as far as I'm concerned. But even people going into the systems, we have stuff, let's say, where this is much more uh, viable, it's available it's a cosmic slash universal medicine hmm. that you cannot cannot be allergic to. Yeah, I was going to say there there is nothing in those that that no. you can be you could no. be. It is it's fragrance to. free, totally fragrance free, and so um, they're actually just so you see that's the cold mist atomizer as opposed to the water stuff. Right, right, right. Right, and this is a great book. It's um, the essential oil desk reference, which people can get at uh, Life Science Publishers, and I do. If people want to get a hold of me, I mean, I take sessions all the time. I mean, I just did two biofeedback, you know, readings and clearings, too, before we got on the air. I was already to London today. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> all over the place. So, you know, we've been all over. And so you can be as close like this, whether it's Skype or whether I've got your phone number or I've got you on Facebook or a couple different ways, it's not hard for me to tap into you. And so that particular thing, it's like universal energy, right? It's beyond the matrix. You can get a hold of me at Clan Mother 13 which is with the K, K-L-A-N, Mother13 at Gmail. Um, I'm on Skype, and when I introduce myself as your grace, Karen Ann, there's a Lucic McDonald, and that's L-U-C-Y-K, like actually – Lucy with the K. Right, right. Instead of Lucy in the sky with diamonds, I got to come up with something, Andrew. That was, that was close. You're, you're getting Lucic, there. Lucic. Lucy and the whatever, but Lucic and with the K, McDonald on Facebook. And there's Project Incension because you know what? We do go in and we do check for 
you know, comments or questions. People want to get a hold of us at Project Incension all the time. You know, and Andrew's excellent at forwarding and stuff too. We have a lot of things, if, you know, whether on Fade to Black or whatever the radio show is, is. And I really, you know, I'm really excited to, I've been putting Facebook up and I've been going to groups and putting Pyramid One Radio all over and come yeah. join us. You know, I tell you, I tell you the honest truth, Ned, I'm looking at a lot of people. I mean, there's a lot of people listening to this show. And thank you very much for all of you for, for coming on a Sunday. But oh, yeah. the, the thing is, you know, you're listening because you're learning. You're not calling because you're learning. You're not calling because you're listening. I like that. I really do. That's Even sick. though we're not getting any calls, I, you know, if one thing that we said during the last mm, hour and 10 minutes, if anything goes through, like goes, goes knock, 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 like, hi, how you doing? If it goes through and you understand what's going on around you in your own sphere of life, mm -hmm. then I think I did my job and Karen did her job and Andrew did his job. It's our passion. It's our life. It's not a job for me. So, um, a task. But, you know, it's a passion. Yeah, but it it's really still, is. Yeah. yeah, I'm still playing. I don't have workshops. I have play shops, you know. Um, <laughs> you know, we have livets. We don't have diets. You know, I have such a different kind of approach to things that way. But, you know, I think this is really pivotal what you're doing. And again, I want people to go back because this is going to go back on the archives. Um, I'm sending a healing right now, not only to Bob, but through Andrew, but to each and every one of you. Through the scalar technology, I can do a group global biofeedback or skill that was developed by Dr. Um, Bill Nelson. And we've got many of this. There's like 40,000 of us. Like, you know, you go to Russia. I mean, our doctors literally, they get, they put you in for colon hydrotherapy and run you through a, a biofeedback, scalar rife, radionics, you know, hammer, herd, dramatic, whatever we're doing, you know. And that's the thing is we've got to become the battery. We've got to be self-empowered here. But, you know, gosh, I mean, it starts with the first thing, living water, you know, become alive, become excited. You know, it's in a state of ex citation right? oh, that's good stuff though come on it, oh come on let's yeah. have fun this is this is good stuff well andrew thank you thank you thank you yeah i want to thank you too bob for letting our shows work simultaneously today and for your listeners this yeah. entire show is being videotaped so if you want to see the video version of it just go to project ascension yeah. yeah, and you can see the whole thing in video of what Karen's holding up and showing you and everything. Well, yeah. you know what? What's going to happen is we're going to get a lot of questions after the fact. Right, yeah. I know that, and you know shows what's like good? shows like this is what's going to keep people asking questions. That's what right. we want. And I really enjoyed this too. I I really want to thank both of you. You know, you you you. Um, you know, Bob and Steph and all, all your listeners and stuff at Pyramid One, it, it's pivotal what you're doing. We're bringing things in. You know, for me, I was actually on a pyramid in a hidden, you know, um, sacred medicine wheel, actually, by the way, which we are keeping sacred. That's just, Some things are just not out for disclosure right now that we're keeping up here. These things do actually exist. And Andrew's been absolutely amazing, him and... I mean, I go into his living room and his, his mother and his father and, and sister. We are actually tribe, you know, and we are available for the most part to contact. And so this could not go forth without, you know, your energy and your love and your kindness. So I'm really grateful to that. And I hope that the viewers and the listeners see that because as Andrew said it, you can go in and see what I'm talking about. And this is why we're kind of bringing the best of everything we're doing this co-collaboratively but this co-creatively and so hopefully this will make a change because i'm showing things up here like some books or the ph charts or i'm showing an aromatherapy bottle or you know um what ph litmus looks like or your you know different charts and stuff you can go there to see and it tastes so. terrible <laughs> did you ever, you ever taste like litmus paper it's like that oh my gosh I, I had the two girls come in last night just to tell you and the first thing i do it's like my truth serum i stick litmus paper and everyone that comes in my my door here or in my center always did because you know what until i see you glowing with all the chakra colors and it, that's what it is it's the water that is actually spring water is actually if you put it under a spec thing it has all the colors. It's glowing, actually, purple. So when we say a pH of 7.7 .7 here, it means my water is, you know, 
Indigen. <laughs> it's indigenous. No man has like screwed it up. Wow. It hasn't been fracked. <laughs> you know? Well, with that, let us all say goodbye, and we got to do this again. Absolutely. Yes. We got to do this again because I'm, I'm quite sure this is gonna this is gonna grow. And that I I actually want to bring in someone to, someone who knows a lot about the uh, the um, smart meters. Yeah, and you know, things. I, who does live in the? Let me see, the northwestern area of mm -hmm. Canada. Do you know one of the ones too? Just to, I've been actually in front of the the committees with uh, Alexander Damko and Stefan the Snipe or Kootenays, as you think. But is Dr. Ross Anderson too? So I've been on tour with some of these people. So I'm pretty well versed in the EMF and smart meter direct energy weapons. So bring them in. I want to hear. I want to hear both sides of the conversation because I, I'm, I've talked. I've talked to the, co the companies here, mm -hmm. Annette, in the U.S. In fact, mm -hmm. right here in South Carolina. Yeah, and you, we were talking about this before. Deny, 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 deny. Right. They keep on saying no, 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 but it says, but the FCC said, and this and that. Right. I said, look, Can dude, I take your EMF meter, come over my mm -hmm. house, and I yeah. said you'll see the thing jump every twenty seconds, right, or something. I said it'll go through the roof, yeah. And like the guy said, yeah, but you have you know your TV and you have your computer. I said my computers. I said are only on for about an hour or so a day, and it's a steady stream, and it's nowhere near the power. Mm -hmm. That's coming off that meter. And right. I said, the meter yeah. is going on 24-7, not my computers right. or my TV. Right. And it's and outside I, of my bedroom window. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's really um, freaky for a lot of people is they don't realize that how dangerous it really is. And that I can add to the testimony or just – I'll bear my oath for just one second. This is the EMF thing. It's really close because that wireless is killing everyone here. Sure. It's killing the plant life, the animals, the bees, yes. us, our children – that's why the towers and Gwen Towers and Harp Towers are being put everywhere. Um, you've got to remember one of the things, too. And, and Barry Trower was actually one of the leading experts. He's all over YouTube. Google it. But what happens is that I actually have um, uh, what we call like an aluminum backing here. I came into a friend of mine that was diagnosed actually with cancer of the prostate, which I'm happy to report within probably less than two, three weeks. He doesn't have it. So his prostate levels went down the PSA from like 17 16, 17, down to a few. But back here, one of the first things is they were getting like, it's like going through a security scanner. That smart meter sitting here, and I know I have aluminum, plus I have the mesh on the other side. Whether you get copper or you get even a stainless steel, aluminum, stainless steel, or some sort of a base, you cover it. And even if you put tinfoil, people laugh about the tinfoil. I just have to give you a quick thing. I was in Nelson, and one of the girls was being targeted individual under psychic attack or psionic attack or wireless attack. And these people of mine cannot function. Their brains are scrambled. And almost every one of my clients, I can come back to these areas where I had numerous thousands of clients and they can't remember anymore. I right, said, right. Short term. I was with you. You should be the, the leading healers out here. You know, it's the leading thing for young living oils and biomats. And, and, uh, didn't matter if it was from isogenics, the conscious planet to, you know, the scale biofeedbacks. I was the leading one in just about all of them and they can't remember a thing. Mm -hmm. And I'm the only one that's sitting here going, getting more and more energy. And people have to realize, too, this is a teaching center. When people come in, I've got shaga tea in here. I've got oils. Um, we've got exercises. But even something as simple, like, you know, a, a Nutribullet had to run that. But they don't realize that that chakra color right, right, right. is the pH and the food's in there. But that's actually the gamma ultraviolet rays. And when you've got ETs and radiation, they're coming in the radio waves outside your visible spectrum that you can see. But that's where it's targeting. That's why almost all my clients they have like zero memory, attention deficit. Um, they've got dental issues, hair loss, skin, grain. Ew. Very quickly, very rapidly. They can't get over this. And so that's really what it is. It's the radiation of these smart meters. It's a, a cumulative effect. It's a form of radiation. So everyone right now uh, that's not out in the bands of the tribes of the reserves and they're getting hit now, I'm trying to deal with it out of there first, but everyone is getting chemo and radiation. So if, at least if you don't have any chemicals and you're not genetically modified, it doesn't quite have the same effect. But if you're acidic with all the chemicals, you are getting hit with a particle of cell accelerator every time. Hmm. And I want people to think of it in those terms because that 
is basically like putting your head into a microwave. Into a microwave. That's what I was just going to say. Yeah, yeah. And your your brain's going to pop like a kernel, whether you like it or not. And I really don't care what people believe because it means they don't know. They're not educated or they haven't been studied in this area. And I've been with the leading experts, you know, in a lot of these fields um, and been on tour. Just like when I talk about raw foods, mm -hmm. I was asked to be on tour with David Wolf in Seattle by Brett Hauer. I've been asked to do it. I choose to be here because it's the safest because of lack of – and again, we got radiation. Where does all the radiation and the uranium come from? All these mines north of me within hours. That That's what powered, you know, you know, uh, Hiroshima, Fukushima, everything. And that's why the nuclear radiation has got to be stopped and shut mm. and these pipelines. Yeah, anybody going they, to get uh, tunas or anything else that come from California, don't do that. No, <laughs> that thing off the oceans anymore, please. You know, you've got to learn. And I'd be relocating into safe areas right now yeah, where you've got you, mountains and spring water. Yep. And you're not going to have a lot of time left. You're yeah, when you, see, when you see a fish grow, glowing in the dark, you'll know. Oh, my gosh. You know, if you see the reports that we see about everything in there, yeah, but, yeah. you know, let's start flourishing and, you know, be that little beacon, you know. And, I, you know, people really need to do that. And I think that's really, really important. Um, I've got the meters here and stuff to check. And most people, like Andrew knows, do not have the access to the technology that Patty gets in. Like in up here, as they think, Canada, they shut down all the radiation monitoring sites. And so if we didn't have people like Patty Bassard that can crack into the seismic readers and every other kind of readers, you know, from the military government or whatever we have to do or go above and below, people would not have any information. And if it wasn't for some of us here in the truth movement and as you call Freedom Radio, I know I used to have my own radio show every Sunday too. There you go. For a couple of years at uh, Dark City Radio. I'll plug that in. The old guys from the BBC. <laughs> yeah. You know. People have no idea what you have to do to get this kind of information out or when we've been on Revolution Radio or Vinnie Eastwood or any of our stuffs or with what Andrew's doing. We have basically sacrificed this as volunteer time. Uh, you know, you have to understand, though, too, that all the people that have watched a show like this will go somewhere. I mean, we, yeah. we call it uh, water. What do they call it? Uh, um, uh, water cooler talk. <laughs> you know, one of those kind of things. I mean, and they'll say, you know, we heard these crazy people on this radio show the other night, <laughs> and I'm serious. I mean, you know, it sounds really, really funny, but a lot of the the people now who came in came in when I had. Uh, we've done over thirty um, crystal uh, crystal skull mm -hmm. guardians yeah. on these shows, yeah. and you know, that's a lot of people to interview because it, the energy that comes from crystal skulls are like out of this out of this world. And I mean, that's I used amazing. to. I could actually, I you could feel it right through this show. Yeah. You could feel it, people that were listening. And cool. people thought it was really crazy until they started coming into the shows then and saying, hey, you know what? I think they're touching something. And now Chris comes in and Chris is healing. So, yeah. I mean, we have these things going on. Uh, Robert Potter comes in and he does the things that with UFOs. He's got mm -hmm. a real, vi someone who stepped into another body from Venus. Right. And then, Whoa. I mean, I'm serious. I mean, all these things that are going on, and it's coming through this network. I know. Ooh, it's what the hell? What how it got here? Hmm? Well, <laughs> on the other hand, let, let's put it this way. I want everyone. Now, you can write to Pyramid One Network at live, L I B E dot com. You can write anything. I don't care what it is. You can swear if you want to. It doesn't matter to me. But the idea is when you have a question, get it off your chest. Put it in words. Tell us about it. Let us call you. Give us your telephone number or your Skype. We'll Skype you when we're on the show. I can do that too. Oh boy, what I can do in here. But, you know, seriously, I mean, this is a place that where people can talk. Everybody can talk. You have the right, the real right as a human being to make yourself known. Tell us what's on your mind. Yeah, I, I think, you know, people need to get it off their chest. And we have great forms of communication. I know a lot of people, there's controversy over Facebook, but I love it. It's beyond social media. If we hadn't been doing this, we wouldn't have been able to see the global changes that we can. And we can actually measure that through HeartMath Institute or as Patty's even looking on the NASA stuff, you can actually tell where the magnetic and the grace gravity is. We can see changes in the chakra and the 
awareness and the level and the frequency of the arising thing. You know, and that's what oh, it's consciousness, about now. Consciousness yeah, can be measured. Exactly. And that's what I do. I can actually measure how angry you are here. I can measure, just like you think the FBI or the CIA or someone's profiling you. That's what these skill machines do. I can do the emotional, mental, and addiction or traumas. So I can see how much love you have. So if people are looking for their like soulmates, <laughs> you better you better turn you better turn that machine that off. Guy's got her. Like, <laughs> yeah, what just, their issues and the tissues are. <laughs> yeah, you better you better turn that one off. I'd break it. But, <laughs> oh my gosh! But no, you know it serious. is, and people don't realize right. when we're talking about the chakras and connecting to, let's say, our beloveds on all levels. You know, you brought it back about the seeds and everything, right? You know, David Wolf and Deepak Chopra, and there's a bunch of us, and Gerald Solante, and I forget who was all over there. But we were having these things called the seed event. Plus, you know what we had to do? We had to bring heirloom seeds and, like, you know, oh, seed God. share with people. <laughs> but I'll trade you. I trade you a tomato seeds. for a cucumber. Well, you know, we 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 do that, and you know, it was funny teaching people the concept of barter, and they have to get past that. That the rich and the elite on this planet. Do not use money. They don't commerce. Mm -hmm. What they do is they they share, but unfortunately, only within their own groups. And quite frankly, it doesn't matter what the Dracos are doing because they're going down anyway. That's... What you need to do is find out which seed, which tribe, which vibe, and where the connection is, and which one of your extra special, right, right. extraterrestrial groups we belong to. You know. Mm. And so it's about bringing all or healing it all together. I love people too, even like Santos Benacci's or. Jordan Maxwell or any of those pivotal people, Michael Tessarian, there's so many people teaching truth or original information that people are missing, you know, and I know a lot of people like if you wanted to talk to them, which I, you know, have some of these different people over the years and at the 5D events, you can't talk to them till you've watched their 40 hours of videos. <laughs> you know? Well, there you go. And I think it's hilarious. You can get a hold of us on Skype and like go to Facebook and we're still answering calls. Nice. So listen, so, thank you, you guys. You guys have a nice weekend. The rest Beautiful. of it, whatever's, whatever's left of the thing. It has been more than an honor to have you both here with me. And, and I mean, I'm serious. I'm dead serious. <laughs> I mean, an honor. I mean, because people need to know. And you yeah, guys, you guys are powerhouses. But, but the truth, you know, we need to know. It's like Jupiter ascending. You have to have the truth. <laughs> Absolutely. For your, for your listeners, they can watch the video version of this interview on Project Ascension on YouTube. Well, there you go. And it will also be on, on the Pyramid One archive. It'll be there yeah. probably in about six weeks. So, uh, six weeks. I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> six, six, six hours. No, no, about six hours. Yeah, no, I no. Actually, Australia was awake when when we were on that they were actually sleeping. Yeah. But but oh. uh, but the the studio was open and John was there, and he yeah, was he was the John. one who was putting in a lot of stuff in it in there. So John Allen in uh, in uh, Australia was was up, but I think he went back to bed again. But we're we're all here, and thank you very very much. And on that note, we are going to get our butts out of here on a Sunday night. And hey, let's rock! Thank you. Now, let me introduce the person who is going to be my my sidekick here on the show. Her name is Karen Ann McDonald. Hi, Karen. Well, how are you doing today? Isn't it exciting? Oh my gosh! Are, are you really like excited? I am so excited, actually. Oh, my goodness. And we also have someone else with us. Go, go ahead. Andrew, raise your hand. Hey, uh, how you doing? It's Andrew <laughs> Miller from Project Ascension. Well, there you go. See that? Well, you got, we got Andrew on there, and we have... There you go. You guys got your videos up. Yeah. So now I can see you both, too. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's all right. Andrew knows. I put on a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on! This is this is Charleston, South Carolina. It's supposed to be, I don't know, seventy, seventy something, seventy eight, seventy nine degrees or something. And right. instead of that, it's like eighty nine. Well, it's crazy, and it just so happens that I, that I have a a where, where the studio is. The end of the the building that the studio is in is where the sun is. So it's like, hey, you can you can get a suntan over here. <laughs> We're gonna bring a little bit more up here. Yeah, okay, really. That, that autumn. Autumn weather. It's been really, really kind of cool up here near Saskatoon. I tell you, these well, Cree Nations and up by the University of Saskatchewan, it's just well, a little good. cooler today. What are, you, what are you having for dinner? I'll be there in 15. You know what? <laughs> 
Do you want to know? There it is. I showed you those raw cheese. Oh, cheese. yeah, yeah, yeah. The other day? Yeah, they turned out marvelous. I had <laughs> several of my girls here, um, and I was teaching actually how to do these raw food cheesecakes that take like six minutes. Really? Absolutely. Uh, did you, yeah. Now you're making me yeah. hungry. Oh, well, yeah. You know, we drizzled all that raw cacao chocolate on, so that was actually something that we did. So, yeah, they were amazed at um, its cash. 